on BBC Radio London. Been talking about keeping the spark alive. How do you continue dating your partner? Well, I'm joined now with personal trainer and founder of London Mums Fitness, LDN Mums Fitness, Sarah Campus. Sarah, great to have you on the show. I think it's fair Thank to you say so much. it's lovely to speak to you. I think it's fair to say as mums, we are forever busy doing 101 things. But how is it then that we ensure that we make time for our relationship, for in some cases our marriage or partnerships? How, how do you keep that spark alive, Sarah? Well, Shay, thank you so much for having me back on. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Um, So, yeah, I basically set up um, London Mums Fitness to work around my kids. And what's really nice is that my husband's really supportive of that and he recognises that you know that i that that i am working Mm. um um, around my kids and so i do obviously spend a lot of time with my kids which i absolutely love but it's also so 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 important to have that balance um and you know that's when i think date night really comes in as like a a really vital non-negotiable and we try to you know be realistic you know, people would would like to do it once a week, but I think you know you've got to look at you know for, fortnightly or even monthly, shall we say? But you know, for, fortnightly we really go for, it. and it's important, you know, to keep the spark alive, to have you know the the uninterrupted conversations, and you know, not always talking about kids. I think that's really important as well, and you know, just to remember, you know, to go back to the root of you know you two and how you you know started and so much to unpack there i think the number one thing for me because i totally resonate is we end up doing that don't we as parents is we'll just always end up talking about the kids i mean how do you how do you press pause on that sarah what do you do halfway through the chat say whoa whoa we're doing it again or do you have an evening where you say right we are consciously not that kids are not allowed to be on the agenda of chat yeah, I think I think it's important to have that not agenda. I mean, obviously, it's you know you're going to have some sort of conversation which is important. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, like for us in particular, they're such a big part of our lives. We absolutely adore them. Um, but you know, you need to have that balance. It's so important. You know, like for me personally, if we're going out for dinner, like with friends, for example, mm. for me. The last thing I want to do is talk about my kids. Love them dearly, but you need to have that sort of like me time and like that adult yeah. chat. It's so important. Otherwise, you end up talking about nappies and poos and, yeah. you know, all this kind of stuff. I think it's really important to not do that. So I think, yes, it's like, you know, tonight, team, we're not talking about that. We can talk about everything else but that. Yeah, yeah without sounding bad, the kids are not going anywhere. We can address that tomorrow. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, it's so true. And, you know, like, and, you know, the ways of having date night as well, I think is really, you know, important to cover as well. The fact that you don't have to, um, it's, it, it's about that you haven't got to spend lots of money. You haven't got to, you know, go out for dinner, things like that. You know, we, we often quite a lot of times actually have it at home, mm. which is really nice. And, you know, actually, you know, especially in, um, um, in lockdown, for example, that actually sort of like was quite nice in a way because we actually dressed up to go downstairs oh nice which, I'm so, oh, which was really nice i'm so glad you say that because oh my god i have to, you've just brought something to my mind sarah a, a, a couple of months ago uh we were just heading out sunny and i had said well, you know what we'd grab a quick lunch because tyra had um a, a, a kind of a school club event that she was doing so like right we'll grab lunch then we'll pick her up and i just did my normal bog standard thing i put my leggings on quick top and he's like you, come on we can do we can do better and it's, it's that point true. of what you're saying is actually just putting a little bit more of an effort as opposed to just it's wearing the joggers so the leggings or it whatever really is true. and you know what it makes it feel like so much more special you know like yeah. you know, for example sometimes we'll have like a load of nachos and margs nights we'll have like cocktail making oh happy days and like loads of nachos and it's so nice and you just feel honestly just by doing something special like a different dish that you wouldn't normally have you know like you know your chili con carne <laughs> yeah, or your yeah, you know bolognese <laughs> yeah. exactly having something different that you can make it together for example or like having steak and chips and it, you know once again it doesn't have to be expensive and extravagant but you know you're 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 stopping and you're making that effort for yourselves and also like another thing that's really important um with my business a lot of it being online um the most important thing that we do is have that phone free time that tech free time uh-huh. is so it's so important if you know it's healthy you need to do it to be on your phone the whole time i know it's what i do i absolutely love it 
but it's important to have that tech free time it's so important not just for, you know for you but for your relationship and for your mental health and everything yeah i'm glad you mentioned it it was about time that we said it isn't it you need to kind of switch off and and if you're we've all been there haven't we actually sarah when you've seen couples out for dinner and both of them are sat on the table, but they're both on their phones. Oh, don't. It makes me so oh, sad. And yeah. I'm not that couple. I really am not. <laughs> not going you know, there. Yes, 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 yes. I'll take a photo of my food. I am that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am that person. But I'm not going to sit and be on my phone whilst mm. my husband's in front of me when we've actually got this time mm-hmm. for, you know, for me and him to actually talk. Um, but, you know, but, but also, but also, yeah. sorry to interrupt. No, go ahead. Also, the other thing is, you know, um, active date nights, that's also such a fun thing that we've started. You know, going for a run or, you know, just like, you know, doing like a class or something like that. Yeah. That's also fun. I, I've been dragging Sunny out because last weekend I did, Ma- I don't know quite how, Sarah, but I, Sarah, I managed to do Mount Snowden. And in the lead up to my training, I just dragged my husband with me for all these walks. He, I mean, there was a bit of moaning, but then it, I think he got used to it. <laughs> end they do something i was saying to one of my guests earlier on to psychotherapist noel bell was this idea of touch a lot kiss a lot what i meant by that is hold hands give each other hugs but kiss as well those kind of physical attributes are so important in a relationship it's so important and that does bring back the spark for sure 100 yeah. you know that sort of like oxytocin feel yeah you know you know you know like the love and the endorphins and that, that that is so important it's a bit like you know what exercise does exercise makes you feel so good yeah. and if you do have that active part of you um then that's really important because you know it just sort of like you know makes you feel makes you feel good and then you'll want to you know exercise more and exercise together and then that obviously you know for me by doing that it then makes you a better parent i feel yeah, as well yeah i think you're absolutely right because it feeds back into all other relationships so lovely having you on the show pleasure speaking to you again sarah campus there a personal trainer founder of london mums fitness if you like more details ldn mumsfitness.com